What's going on guys, JSGC here and we're here for the Man City transfer update number 5 this time. Before I get started on the video though, I just wanted to say that if you are new around here, please don't forget to subscribe, notifications on those daily transfer updates with Man City. So if you want to stay in the loop, get all the latest exclusives and all the latest news as quickly as possible, good idea to subscribe, notifications on, press the bell and you'll be notified when I've uploaded and I'll bring you all up to date daily with Man City content. With that being said and done, I'm going to get on with today's transfer update. Before I get on with the transfer update, I just want to say that I'm going to be running through the ins and outs. There's no contract news today. And then after that, if you are interested, I'm going to be running over a couple of stories that have been running from Man City as well. I was going to do them in a separate video, but I thought I'll include them at the end of this, which is basically I'm going to be looking at the uh, omission of Leroy Sane from the Germany squad. I'm going to look at the Pep incident with Liverpool, uh, where UEFA has punished him. And then I'm going to be looking at the Yaya Torre incident with Pep Guardiola too. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned at the end of this video. But with the transfer update, we're going to get on with it. We've got some in news this uh, today. So for Man City, they have held talks over the weekend, according to the MEN, with Leicester. That's a proven fact. I've got more news on that. I'll bring that up to you at the end of uh, the in section once I've got through that. First up, though, Sky sources in Italy have said that, Man uh, that Napoli are now willing to accept around... 50 million euro instead of 60 million euro for Jorginho. So that's 44 million pounds. Man City offered 40 million plus 5 million in add ons. They don't want any add ons, they want around 40, 44, 45 million pounds in straight up cash. That tells me that the deal's not too far away, if that is to be believed by Sky Sources in Italy. It suggests that it's not far away. We've had a little bit more development this morning too, because apparently Jorginho's girlfriend or wife, I think it's his wife, she's been looking at houses in Manchester. Apparently it's been narrowed down to as many as three uh, that they're considering moving into. So they started looking at the local area, which is good. Uh, personal terms have been agreed, apparently £4 million a year as well for Jorginho to move to Manchester City in wage. And we're also then expecting Jorginho then to travel because international duty for him I think is near enough done Italy faced the Netherlands yesterday in a friendly that frees him up from international duty he'll want to go on holiday so I'm hoping that he'll come over uh, the fee will be agreed very soon in the next couple of days we'll be able to get personal terms sorted and medical sorted his interview with City TV to go on uh, and uh, all the photographers will come in and everything hopefully that will get all sorted it's even possible by end of the week uh, but it does take time doing all that might be having an announcement by the end of the week possibly the weekend possibly into next week if we can hurry up and get this fee agreed things looking positive on the Jorginho front though the end is in sight thankfully now we've got more news Emre Chan we was linked with him for, for free from Liverpool back in January February time if you remember he's now gone and joined Juventus as expected on a four-year deal so we won't be signing Emre Chan I wasn't expecting that it's just I, I was tying up from one of my transfer updates that I did back in January, February time. So I just wanted to tie up that we're not signing him. And last but not least, that news that I was bringing you about Riyad Mahrez. Uh, Leicester, they want Patrick Roberts included apparently now into the deal according to the Telegraph. Their value at around £15 million. Man City were preparing to make a bid of around £60 million plus a few million in add-ons. So that fee will come down. So if we deduct £15 million from the 60, that'll take it down to 45. So the deal could be between 40 to £50 million rather than the 60 to 70 that was first tooted which is good I imagine our concentrations are actually on Jorginho at the moment rather than Mares, because uh, like I said they want uh, to get him um, Jorginho in sorted as quickly as possible because I think this Riyad Mahrez one uh, although it might have a few hinges seems a little bit more simple than the Jorginho deal but like I said end is in sight for Jorginho end is in sight for Riyad Mahrez so hopefully we'll be able to have more of an update tomorrow uh, I'm hoping that we'll have news that they're travelling over to Man City at some point this week. Well, that'll be exciting. Now on to the outs. And uh, when, when we've mentioned Jorginho, I will add that uh, according to uh, rumours, Zinchenko was offered in a cash plus exchange deal. Napoli want cash. They don't want add-ons. They don't want players. They want cash. But with Zinchenko being offered, it suggests to me that perhaps Zinchenko is for sale. And I said that Man City will probably get rid of one or two of their first team squad players. I'm fairly sure that Zinchenko is one of them. I I feel like Claudio Bravo might be the other if they want Angus Gunn to move in for at least a year as part of the uh, squad because to be fair Angus Gunn I'm not too sure many clubs are going to pay a lot of money there's a lot of goalkeepers in the market at the moment so I imagine that Angus Gunn will be quite down on the priority of clubs wanting to sign championship clubs will be after him they just won't be able to afford him I mean the money we must be looking at must be 10 million plus for a young 
English goalkeeper, the under-21 goalkeeper, we're looking at least £10 million plus for him. Championship clubs aren't going to pay that, you wouldn't think. So it'd be another loan, it'd be another sideways loan. It's pointless. We could sell Claudio Bravo. I imagine quite a few teams around the world will be after Bravo, so we'll have to wait and see on that front too. Uh... As requested in the last video, someone wanted an update on Sergio Aguero. I have got an update on that. Independent are after him. They're in Argentina. They're his boyhood club. They're after Sergio Aguero, but they will only be signing him once his contract has run out. So that's that. Uh, Atletico Madrid are interested in signing him too. Apparently, though, the money to be able to afford such a move would have to be from the Griezmann sale. He's expected to join Barcelona. Although, over the last day, since winning the Europa League, he sat down and thought about it. He's really enjoying his football at Atletico. He's really enjoying his football under Simi and apparently he now wants to stay at Atletico Madrid. Now, Atletico Madrid, they were after Thomas Lamar, apparently an £80 million movie was linked. Whether they're going to go and sign him as well as keeping Griezmann, I wouldn't think that'd be the case. I think they'd be using that £100 million that they'd get for Griezmann to fund for that £80 million move for Thomas Lamar. But so as far as I'm concerned, as long as Antoine Griezmann stays at Atletico Madrid, they won't be in for Sergio Aguero. But like I keep saying, the summer is long, you know... Things happen, things change. Last but not least, we do have a bit of confirmed news. Will Patchin, the Manchester City young player, he's out of contract uh, on June 30th of this year. On July 1st, he will be joining Notts County. Doesn't he look delighted? He looks delighted with that news. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to wish Will all the best of luck at Notts County for the next uh, two seasons. I think he's on a two-year deal, so good luck to Will. We'll see how he uh, does with his progress. And that's been the transfer updates. There is a little bit, a couple of bits of news that I'll include in tomorrow's video regarding a couple of players going out on loan. I'd include it in this, but I'm hoping to get more detail today because I don't have any details other than uh, clubs after these players on loan. So I'm hoping to get more detail today and include it on our transfer update for tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that one. Like I said, subscribe, notifications on. And now we're going to get on with them bits of news that I was mentioning before. I've been requested again to talk about why Leroy Sane has been left out of the Germany squad. Quite simple, my opinion. Julian Brandt's been put in it instead of Bayer Leverkusen. They, he's a winger. Leroy Sane is a winger. The Sun, they were reporting that it was down to an attitude problem. I don't think it's down to that. I think it's down to what Joachim Lowe has said in his interview, which was just he was faced with a straight option between Brandt or Sane. He's gone for, he's obviously not gone for Sane. Reasons being that Brandt's shown more consistency on the international stage. He was impressed with his performance at the Confederation Cup. Whereas Leroy Sane, he's done very impressive for Manchester City, but he doesn't really fit into the German style of football. If you don't get where I'm coming from for that, watch how Germany play their international football. They're like versatile players, players that can play over two or three positions, players that track back, work hard. Uh, Leroy Sane stays out, touches the wing, cuts in, very skillful, very quick, but he doesn't really suit that system. He suits how Man City play. Uh, Leroy Sane gets given the freedom of the left wing at Man City. Germany won't ever give you freedom of any way. You've got to work hard as a team. They're not looking for egos. They're not looking for players to shine. They're not looking for like the Ronaldos and the Bales to take it to that next level and make the team all about them. They're looking for a team full of hard work and Lowe's obviously deemed Sane not to be. Sane will be given more chances at Germany so he can keep his head held high there. He's had a very impressive season. He's been Germany's best player for assists and goals over the last season. I find it extraordinary that he's not going to the World Cup. Even if you just use him as a squad player, a player on the bench or an impact sub, why he's not going is absolutely beyond me. But I'm hoping he'll use it as confidence because he'll still get given chances at Germany. He needs to work harder for Germany, basically. Uh, and that's I've not seen many people what many people have said about it. I've not really had a chance to head onto YouTube and watch videos about people's opinions. But my opinion is he's hard done by. Extremely unlucky. I'm uh, gutted for him. I absolutely am. He's got four years to wait for another World Cup now. But I'm certain that if he has four years of hard work, produces a season like he produced last season for the next four seasons, not only will he go into the Germany squad in four years in the World Cup, he'll be a starter. He's an exceptional player. He just needs to work harder and show more consistency. We've seen it at City too. He works so hard. He does so well. In games, he can get found out. In games, he looks like he's disinterested. He just needs to iron that out of his game. Keep working hard. Let let Pep develop him in four years. I can guarantee you give Pep Guardiola four years in Leroy Sane. Leroy Sane will be one of the best players in the world. He's not quite there now, but he's still very good. He should be in that Germany squad. He isn't. Extremely unlucky. We move on. Germany's lost. Man City's gain. I'm looking at the positive side for Leroy Sane. He's going to be fresh, raring to go. Point to prove as well. Makes him very dangerous next season. So hopefully we can get even better out of Leroy Sane. Next up... 
Pep Guardiola's got a ban. He's been given a two-game European ban, so a two-game Champions League ban, our first two games in the Champions League next season. He's been given a ban, one of them suspended. So the first game he's going to be up on the uh, up in the seats. He's going to be on the not be able to be on the touchline. So he's banned for that game. There you go. <laughs> That's for him shouting at the referee. Absolutely ridiculous. Why Liverpool can smash up our team bus, get a fine, but our manager shouts and we get a ban. Inconsistencies. That's why UEFA's anthem gets booed if anyone was wondering if you aren't a Man City fan or if you are and you wonder why we boo it. It's these inconsistencies. It's just not fair. And last but not least, talking of inconsistencies, Yaya Torre is a club legend at Manchester City. Um, he's been given a season card for life. He's treasured by everyone at the club. Everyone loves him. Uh, exceptional player on the pitch. No one can ever doubt that. One of Man City's best ever players ever. Absolute dominant in the midfield. He's got... Uh, it's, plaques after him at the club, uh, he's got pitches named after him, stuff like that, uh, and then he's come out and done an interview in a French magazine, bits of it have been leaked yesterday, and apparently it's out today, so we'll be interested to see what the fallout is on that, but apparently he's called Pep a racist, he's considered that he hasn't been picked for Man City, he thinks he has a right to be in the Man City starting eleven because he felt like he was getting, midfielders who weren't as good as him were getting picked over him because Pep was a racist. Uh, it's nothing to do with the fact that Yaya Torre's legs have gone. Uh, he couldn't run anymore. There was players out there that were more versatile than him, players that were quicker than him, fitter than him, hungrier than him, that wanted that position and wanted to impress. Yeah, that's why Yaya Torre didn't get into the squad. He was a squad player. He can't accept that. And now him and his agent are coming out with more bitchy comments about Pep and accusing him of being racist. Absolutely extraordinary. They're accusing him of being racist, by the way, to African players not black players, because obviously you look at Man City's squad, there's quite a few coloured players at Man City. Clearly not a racist. Uh, and it's old, It's a disrespectful comment to make. It's a sour comment for how the club's treated Yaya Toure. Uh, he's not only slandering Pep's name, but he's slandering Man City because Man City have hired Pep. It's a poor move. Uh, and if I'm honest, I feel like my respect for Yaya Toure... He started to go down from cake gate. He started to get it back. He was working hard. He was happy to sit on the bench. He was all happy to see Yay. I was gutted to see him leave. And then he's coming out with these comments. It's starting to go down again. It's disrespectful. I don't like it. Um, yeah, I, think I just want him to shut his mouth, basically. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Plain and simple as that. I'd like to have used Yaya Torre as like Man City's ambassador to Africa and stuff. I suppose that's off the cards now. Uh, ruining it for himself there. I don't know why he's coming out with these comments. Completely unnecessary. Um, yeah, I'd like for him to show a little bit more respect to the club. If he doesn't like Pep, that's fair enough. There's a lot of people I don't like out there. don't see me releasing a load of statements saying that I don't like them. I just, you know, the comment gets made. You leave it there. You move on. You focus positive on other stuff. Yeah, completely unnecessary from there. Let me know what you think of that in the comments. It's such a strange comment to make. But there we go. That's been the transfer update and a couple of updates from Man City too. Um, yeah, like I said, daily videos are up again tomorrow. Daily transfer updates for Manchester City. We'll have more news. Like I said, I'll have more news on that loan uh, that I've heard about that I'll try and get more information on. Yeah, don't forget to check out my social media. I'll keep you all up to date on that. That'll be on Twitter in particular, so you ought to go follow me on there. That'd mean a lot to me. It'd mean a lot to me if you could subscribe. Leave a lot to me. You can leave a big thumbs up on the video too if you did enjoy the video. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe notifications on. I'll see you all again tomorrow. I'll leave my links to the second channel and my brother's partner channel. I'm going to check them out, like and subscribe. I'll leave the links at them at the end of the video. And I'll see you all again tomorrow. It's been JSGC. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace. Ciao for now.